In an interview Monday with conservative talk radio host Jimmy Fila, Rep. James Comer, RKY, Chairman of the House Oversight Committee, provided an unusually succinct description of his case against President Biden. House Republicans appear to have abandoned their impeachment drive against the President, which Comer has led, and instead may go straight to the Justice Department with criminal referrals. Comer's remarks provide a rough guide to what the House GOP may have in mind. Here are the comments in full, with the relevant sections in bold type. Let's dissect Comer's comments. Documents and interviews released by Comer's committee identified payments to Hunter Biden, the president's son, Jim Biden, the president's brother, Sarah Biden, his sister-in-law, and Hallie Biden, his son Bo's widow. Comer is also counting the president, more on that below. Committee staff say payments were also received by Melissa Cohen, Hunter's current spouse, Kathleen Boole, his ex-wife, and three minor children who are not being identified, adding up to 10. Even that is being generous to Comer's theory, because virtually all of this money flowed to Hunter Biden. The others received relatively small amounts. This is false. As we have shown before, virtually all of the companies that received the funds in question had legitimate business interests, which shell companies by definition do not. Comer claims that it is not clear what Hunter Biden did to earn the money, when it is often quite evident. For instance, Hunter Biden earned millions as a board member of Burisma, a Ukrainian energy company. Whether he was qualified for the post is another matter. The committee rejects this analysis that the majority of these companies did not provide services and the Bidens certainly did nothing of substance for these entities justifying millions of dollars in payment. Comer is referring to payments from people or companies based in China. $6.5 million. Ukraine. $4 million. Romania. $1 million. And Kazakhstan. $142,300 from a businessman to Hunter Biden to pay for a Porsche sports car. The fifth country is Russia, but that requires an asterisk. The committee is counting a transfer of $3.5 million from Russian billionaire Elena Baturina. Hunter's former business partner Devin Archer testified that that money was not intended for Hunter, as has Hunter. That was Devon's, Hunter said in his congressional interview. I never received a dime from Ms. Baturina. I didn't have any involvement with her in any way. The committee staff says, 5, is a conservative figure that does not include other countries that were allegedly sources of payments, such as Panama and Cyprus. The last time we investigated this matter, the committee could document between $11.7 million and $15.18 million in transfers to Biden family members. The difference depends on whether you include Baturina's $3.5 million.